Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to remember to set the constructor property when changing the prototype. There's one crucial side effect of manually setting the prototype to a new object. It erases the constructor property. This property can be used to check which constructor function created the instance, but since the pro property has been overwritten it now gives false results. Duck.constructor is equal to bird, false. Duck.constructor is equal to object, true. Duck instance of bird, true. Okay, so constructor becomes overwritten when we um, adjust the prototype classes. So to fix this, whenever a prototype is manually set to a new object, remember to define the constructor property. Okay, cool. So here we're doing the same thing that we did last time. We're writing in all the functions as part of the prototype constructors, but at the same time, we're, we're um, redefining the constructor to be bird. So define constructor property on the dog prototype. So dog prototype here, constructor, is equal to a uh, dog. And then we want to put, make sure we put a comma because we're key value pairs, right? This is a key value pair. This is a key, this is the value pair. This is a key value pair. So now if we were to go um, let Rufus equal new dog um, Rufus. If we were to console log rufus dot constructor then we would get the function of dog um, now if we didn't do this and we commented this out it would be an object dog object uh, is the constructor equal to object this is true because the constructor has not been reset and so when we did this Initially, the constructor was set to dog. Oh, yeah, we could do, let's put Rufus at the top here. Now the constructor is equal to, now, oh, is it equal to dog? Hmm. Interesting. Oh, because Rufus was declared as a new dog. That doesn't make sense. He shouldn't even be able to exist right there. Doesn't even exist. Rufus is equal to a new dog and the constructor is dog. True. Hmm. Okay, so not exactly sure how that's working out, but the idea here is that we, um, we've got the, a dog named Rufus and the constructor can be set and maintained as dog here. If we were to Whoa, weird. If Rufus is defined before the prototypes change, then um, the function, then we don't need to reset the, the function. But because we've altered the prototype here, it becomes an object. So right now, uh, the Rufus's constructor is object because we need to make constructor equal to dog. We need to reset that here because when we adjust the prototype, um, we need to be able to set the constructor. We need to reset the constructor explicitly. Otherwise, when we uh, reassign prototype values, then the constructor will be um, overridden. Anyways, I hope that makes sense. Uh, if we run the test, you'll see they pass. Once again, the only thing that's important for this one is you just have to fill this part out. This stuff is all just me trying to make uh, the reasoning behind this uh, more explicit. So thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next lesson.